I'm just going to make a really easy spring risotto using all these lovely spring vegetables. So the first thing I'm just going to wash some of the vegetables. I'm also going to show you how to serve risotto by making some risotto balls, which is just a fun, fun, easy thing to do. So start by just chopping up the leeks, spring onions and celery. When you're making a risotto, it's a really good idea to have all your ingredients ready before you start cooking. Because once you are at the hob, you really need to stay there and keep an eye on the rice as it cooks. So even though I'm not going to use these spring greens until later, I'm going to wash and chop them now as well. And get the garlic ready too. Put the butter and oil into the pan and add the leeks, spring onions, celery and the pancetta. And gently soften for 10 minutes. Then add the garlic and then the rice. It's an important part of the risotto making to sort of really make sure you coat the rice in all those buttery juices. Add a glass full of wine. This is where you need to hang around by the hob and gradually add the hot stock. One ladle at a time. After approximately 20 minutes, when the rice is almost ready, stir in the spring greens and cook until just wilted. So that's al dente, which means that the rice is cooked but it still has a little bit of bite. And then all you need to do is put some parmesan over the risotto and cover with the lid for a few minutes. This helps to make the risotto nice and juicy. If you have any cold risotto left over, you might like to have a go at making these fun risotto balls. Brush a little olive oil over a roasting dish. First, wet your hands and shape a little risotto into a ball. Poke mozzarella into the middle. Roll in breadcrumbs. And cook in the oven.